I literally took the best money for 25 new credits that I did before I, I, I took whatever. But it's boring as hell. But that information that you're talking about, me, and like the, the, say the guy that does eat the McDonald's milkshake and sugar and all this shit, when they eat, when they cut out something and they drop 30 pounds and, and they cut out the sugar, something magical may happen. Now, I'm not saying this happened to Rogan, but there are people out there that go, oh my God, keto is like the magic because now my knee doesn't hurt. But meanwhile, they've lost 30 fucking pounds and they no longer eat every infl inflammatory thing they can possibly stuff in their mouth, right? Yeah. So for them, this whole thing, and, and, and you know, that's what, that's what sells the keto diet so much. I mean, I don't think diets are like sustainable, right? But for some things, they could also be, you know, it, 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 completely not a naturalistic hypothesis is that, you know, you're doing something, you're completely changing your mental state by changing your diet, right? And so this could have some kind of revelatory experience. Yeah, if you, if, you, if you just be eating anything, right, and then you begin to control your diet in some way, right? And, and there's, all, there's, there's all these questions that are raised about these. It, it's the sharing of the magic bullets, and also the idea that, that rather than someone having, like, healthy, consistent, manageable, like, lifestyle changes, that someone has to live in this like bizarre way that's so like which really like Rogan's lifestyle is literally only sustainable if you're a millionaire, right? Like you can't be buying like reverse hypers doing going to the gym all the time. You've got to be a work man, you can't just be going to the gym and trying to DJ and eating like breast fat beef or whatever. But then similarly with like Lex and with all these like mantras and stuff, like you don't have time to be like you know, making sure that you get your deep work after you miss many hours of all these things, like, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't be a work, man. I would have thought the other day, someone was like, well, you can still be, you can be working four hours a day. You know, I work eight to eight, and I'm still, you know, going out and, like, having a drink and going for work. I was like, are you tired of the day right now? You cannot. If you're going to go and shake your head, you know, I have two hours before 10 o'clock. Most people go to bed at 10 o'clock, right? Not me, but obviously. But, you know, uh, most people go to bed between 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock, right? There's no way you can go out for a date and be like, oh yeah, well, I'm fully ready for a romantic uh, evening. Uh, you know, in the, in the evening, like right now, if you're ready for a romantic date, you can't do that, right? And it's a kind of some fun, right? These people are proposing a kind of lifestyle that only works for them because of them. Like, I think there's some sort of bullshitty selling going on in the lifestyle thing as well. I think, yeah, I do too, but there's also something that to be said that the American people are like, so this like work hard until you have the American dream. The problem is, is like the American it's like dream saying, is well, It's like saying 100%. It's like saying I, I agree with you 100% sample. You, that there is no such thing. But the, the and when you ask.